Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yerushalam, coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. The name of this video is The Man of Sin Revealed by His Own Mouth. All right, proof, proof that they are the devil, the Bible speaks of. All right, and on screen you have you have um none other that than um Ferrari, Ferrari, Harari, you know, whatever the hell his name is, Duval or Uval, you know, basically and um, and he's um he's pretty much coming out and saying that they they're gonna overtake the Most High, all right, that they're gonna supplant the Most High. This is what this is what these devils are saying, you know, in, in their pride, in their great pride. Alright, so I'm gonna play a little a little clip, a few clips out of this video. Alright, um nothing too much. Alright, so you know they they'd like to strike you on for these this information. Um and we go into some quick scriptures. Is that humans are now hackable animals. You can hack them. A good two-way communication system, direct communication system between brains and computers, this is kind of a, the, the watershed moment. I mean, once you have a good two-way, nobody has any idea what happens after that. You see, he said outright, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be, um, it's a hackable um, system. All right? It's going to be hackable. Okay? Two-way. Right when when you when, when and this is speaking about what the the M M O T T and the B, all right, which is which is the one the one that goes what where in your head, all right, which is the one that 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 devil um, Elon Musk is making, you know. But this that 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 he doesn't sell it like that. He sells it as if you know hey, it can help your walk, you know if you're injured and all this kind of thing, you know. So this this that damn devil, all right. Now he's coming out now and saying that you know it's two way, which we already knew. All right, we already knew that. It wasn't just one-way communication. All right, and coming in, there's also information going out that they're collecting about you. You know, as he as he goes on to say about surveillance. All right, hold on. Let's get something else here. Moment when everything went digital, and if and this is this was the moment when every, everything became monitored that we agreed to be surveyed all, all the time, not just in authoritarian machines, but even in democracies, and maybe most... All right, which is not a lie, you know, because we didn't, we, we didn't agree to be surveilled. All right, that, that's what they're doing right now with the, you know, with the, the, the satellite, uh, the God's eye, you know, they have all these things, this technology that you don't even think exists. All right, they have certain technology that can track your, track your DNA. All right, from space, from the satellites. Okay. And the, and, the, and the main part of it is to put what put under LPL, which is what the SK to the I to the N, under that. That's what they want to put it. That's what they want to really surveil, you know. Importantly, at all, this was the moment when surveillance started going under the skin. I think the, the big process that's happening right now in the world is uh, hacking human beings, the ability to hack humans, to understand deeply what's happening within you, what, what makes you, what, what, what makes you go. So this, 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 so this devil, you know, he thinks he, he cracks the code, he cracks the code, all right? You know, the Lord's code, that is the, 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 um, the code or the blueprint of creation. And this is what he's coming up here to boast about. Okay, that they that they track the genome, and you know, they know all about you, they know all about our DNA. They practically, hey, they said it in the, in the um one of those Transformers movies. Yeah, we own your genome. Okay, and this is this is really how the, this is what the devil's saying, you know. And um, and as you're gonna see a little later on here, um, you know, they speak great words, like swelling words against the Most High, against the Abashim Yahushai, and we're in Daniel seven. 7 and 25 it said it says and he shall speak 
Great words against the Most High, right? Yeah, great swelling words, you know, prideful words. And we all know pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. And so he's going to fall, all right? And shall wear out the saints of the Most High, yeah, and this is what he's doing. Been doing that for a while, all right? You know, through, through, through slavery, and now, you know, you know, we have an economic, we have an economic yoke around our necks, all right? You know, he see me again, you know, he, he, he just want to cast, they just want to cast Jake down from his excellency. You know, or all these, the, the jump shots, all these things, do that's what they do. Right, and think to change times and laws, well, you know, he be, he's, he's still doing that. In fact, that's one of the main ways that this, this new world order is going to be pushed throughout the world. Using the, using the, um, using uh, um, the, the W, right, to the H and the O, all right. In order to, to, to effectively uh, um, implement that, what are you going to have to do? Change laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and dividing a time. Yeah, your time is appointed. All right, I can't go beyond it. This is what these devils say. That's what they're not going to understand. Okay? Um, now let's go back to that video here. Let's go down and show you some, yeah, some more of lies of the devil. Because all the way he's speaking is just plain lies. Five. Let's get this. Salakia. So Here we go. And years. So if it was good enough for them, I had to check it out, and it absolutely blew my mind. We are in the process of acquiring divine abilities, of turning us in ourselves into gods, and I mean this in the most. And isn't and isn't that doesn't that sound familiar? Yeah, it does. Was this in the scriptures? Most literal sense possible. It's not a metaphor. I really. All right. So, so what you were saying there, he's serious about it. He's telling you plain out. All right. He's telling you plain out. You know that that they want to be gods. All right. I really believe you're you're helping our group get focused on what are the possibilities of the future and some things that we ought to be thinking about. If you think about the abilities of gods according to various mythologies we are now acquiring these abilities to ourselves like um in the bible god is the creator his chief power is to create he creates animals and plants and humans according to his wishes now we are gaining this power to create life just like god and in a way which is a lie you know but these people, hey, that this that's all they are, really, you know. These devils, they they're just basically liars, all right. You can't trust a word, you know, that they can that they say, you know, the 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 the, the northern kingdom tribes they call them um say they, they speak with forked tongue. This is Job thirteen and four it says, but ye are forges of lies, ye are forges of lies. You are all physicians of no value, all right. They are for they lie as soon as they be born. They go about what speaking lies, Psalm 58. And verse, verse 3 it says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, what speaking lies. Right? Their poison is like the poison of a serpent, and this is what they be dishing out. Right? And they have more poison on the way. Right? It's called that M to the O to the TB. Right? They are like the deaf adder that stop at the ear, which will not hearken to the voice of the charmers. Charming never so wisely. So these these guys, hey, pack of lies that they're gonna develop life. No ain't nobody develop life but Yabashim Yawashai. Alright? You know? Because when you go into that word, create. That's gonna meaning. Alright? Create. Right, it says to bring something into existence, generate, produce. They can't generate any raw materials or produce anything new, right? You know, they can't do that, right? Well, everything that that um that they use for the for the for the technology, for the computers, for the robots, all of it is raw material. What which was generated and produced by who? Yahabashim Yahushai, right? Even the ideas that they have, the scriptures tell you what. That come from the Lord, right? Let's get that. Let's get Job, thirty-three. And verse 14. Because this devil, he sure is proud. 
All right, sure is proud. This is Job 33 and 14. It says, For the most high speaketh once, yet twice, yet man perceiveth it not. All right, men don't perceive that. They don't perceive that they know it's Yahbashim, Yahushai, giving them all the ideas to do what they're doing. All right, in a dream, in a vision of night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in the slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth the instruction. Right, seal the instruction to do what? To create all the technology. All right. And it's verse 17 say that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. Now in this case, you know, you know that that's that's um that's for the, for the for the righteous. But for the devil, you know, hey, he's puffing them up. He's he's raising them up, as they say, you know, uh, 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 in Romans 9 chapter. Okay? He's building them up for what? A great fall. Alright? That's what the Lord doing. So all the ideas, you know. All the ideas for technology, all those things what come from the Lord. Right? Comes from Yahbashim Yahushai. Let's play a little more of this here. Just like God, and in a way, we even go beyond the biblical God. And this is it. He said he, you hear we heard what he said? You know he said they, they go beyond. Right? Go beyond. And, and this is a real devil man. Because even if you believe the Bible. The only thing God managed to create are organic uh, beings. Oh. So swelling words against the Mosai, right? The only thing, you know, limiting the Mosai. And you wish we know the Mosai is omnipotent, omnipotent omniscient. Alright? But he's limiting the, the Mosai God, the king of the universe. These trees and giraffes and humans, they are just organic. But we are now trying to create inorganic entities, inorganic life forms, cyborgs, artificial intelligence, and so forth. If we succeed, and there is a very good chance we will, then very soon we will be beyond the God of the Bible. So you see, you see the pride. Create pride. All right? Create pride. Okay? Create pride. You can see it right there. The so scripture that says the, um, the beginning of, of pride is when one depart from the, from the most high things in the apocrypha. That's roughly paraphrasing. Right? It just shows you, it just shows you how, 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 how evil these devils are. They have no thanks. Right? You know, you know but Esau, we know Esau departed from the most high a long time ago. Alright? You know, and the point is, you know, they, they're off and they're lying about their technology. Technology, no way, no way, no how could surpass organic in the first place. Alright, I just have a little clip here. Let's, let's compare an artificial intelligence versus human intelligence, right? And it's speak about energy efficiency and the human mind operates on a higher wattage even than artificial intelligence. Right? The point two says talks about universal. Yeah, it says humans usually learn to manage hundreds of different skills during life. For artificial intelligence, um, while consuming kilowatts of energy, this machine is usually designed for only a few tasks. Right? Goes on multitasking. A human can multitask better than a machine for decision making. Right? Humans can learn many different um, experiences and scenarios where robots are limited. They can't even have the intelligence of a six year old child. Right? So, hey, I, I don't need to go on any further on this. Right? This is from Ed, Edu, 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 um, Artificial Intelligence versus Human Intelligence. So, the Lord's creation is top. Plus, everything that they create. Is the Lord give them the ideas to create anyway? And you know we can prove that. We can prove that in the scriptures. Who gave them who gave them the knowledge to create the um the, 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 the nuclear warhead and the missiles? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right, it's Isaiah 54 and verse um verse 16. It reads, Behold, I have created a smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Right? Right, you see what's going on there? Right, the smith is the scientist. The Lord created the scientist with that, and put that, put that, um, that knowledge in his mind, as we saw in Job the thirty-third chapter, from the fourteen verse one down. All right, okay, and he bring it forth an instrument for his work, for whose work he work of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and I created the waster to destroy. What do you think the waster is? Right, a nuclear missile, which is one of the biggest technological advancements in warfare, right, in modern times. Right, in fact, if, if not the greatest and most destructive. Okay, so hey, you know, hey, that shows you, you know, where these devils are in their bold face, right? 
you know he, he basically he basically is selling it straightforward who he is that he is he is the devil that the scriptures talk about all right let me see if i can um you know let me let me um let me see if i can get a little bit more on and i'll go into some scriptures let's get um See if I can bring this in here. So different biological costs. One of the things that is happening right now in the world is that you see the elite diverging from humankind as a whole and uh, already seeing beyond the horizon or on the horizon the possibility of a real split. That the future of the elite and the future of Homo sapiens, that's a different future because the elite is going to be transformed into a different kind of species. So one key question is who are we? And are we serving the interests of humankind as a whole? Or are we serving the interests of a potentially new species emerging out of Homo sapiens? All right, so he's saying that the elites, you know, basically they're going to become gods, you know? You know, and hey, they they be dealing with the hierarchy of demons anyway. Because the scriptures say we do battle against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers are right, the rulers of this world. So the, the the Lucifer, you know, the devil, you know, the world calls the devil, all right, you know, the, the spiritual angel on the left hand side, heading the left hand side, you know, he's dealing with these these guys and he's deceiving them. You know, making them believe that, you know, they're gonna win against the most high, that they're gonna go to a higher level, all right. But all in all, what's gonna come back to vanity? All right, so let's get some precepts here. All right, let's get Isaiah chapter 14, start verse 12. It reads what? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? All right, which we know Lucifer means what? Light bearer. All right, Lucifer means light, light bearer. All right, when, they, when they break down, they break down the name. It doesn't necessarily mean the devil. All right, you have a light bearer on the right hand side. You have life bearers on the left hand side. We know the global banking elite. Are the, are the illuminated or light bearers on the left hand side, right? O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did as weaken the nation? Because that's what they're gonna. That's what gonna happen to them. For thou hast said in thine heart, right in your mind, is what this guy was saying, this devil. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. And didn't he say we're gonna go beyond the Lord? All right. I will sit also in the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Who is the mount of the congregation? Right? He's sitting now upon Jake. Right? He's sitting, he's sitting upon the house of the Lord, the tabernacle of the Lord. In the sides of the north, where America. Right? Because when they go to 2 Thessalonians 2, they talk about how he's sitting in the temple of the Most High, saying that he is the Lord. Alright? In fact, let me read that. Right, because this is the devil you're dealing with here. This is the man of sin being revealed. 2 Thessalonians 2 and, um, and verse 3 it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And we did fall away. And we went into captivity under these devils. Right, as we were slaves. Right? And that man of sin be revealed, right? And he's revealing it by his own mouth right here. Because it's, it's, everything he's saying is lining up with the scriptures. With prophecy. And prophecy is speaking like never before. Alright? The son of perdition. The son of destruction. Alright? Who is that? The devil. That the Bible speaks of. Alright? The so-called white man. Who is Esau Edom? Alright? Verse 4 says, Who opposed and exalted himself above, above, alright? All that is called God, right? Or that is worship. So that he as God said that in the temple of God, right? Isn't the same thing we just read? Uh, uh, um, you know, in, in, in Isaiah 14 chapter, what are you going to do? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Who, who stars of God? Jake. And I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, which is what? The house of the Lord, which is which is what Jake again. Look, look let's go back. Alright? Let's go back. So you see how the precepts line, precept upon precept, line upon line, Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, and that this is what this fourth industrial revolution is all about. Alright? It's about it's about putting things inside of you. 
all right it's about them living in inside of you controlling you full it's all about control right and this is the this is the ultimate form of control you know sitting in your temple which is your body right what does the scripture say um the scriptures in the scripture say uh, um your body is a temple i think it's luke um <clears throat> let me see if i can see if you can find that i believe i believe if i'm not mistaken that it's in luke the book of luke let's bear with me a moment here let's see if i can find that <clears throat> Um, yeah, let's get, let's get, um, the book, uh, Luke, Luke chapter 17, verse 20, it's, it reads what, um, yeah, it says, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of heaven should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, but behold, the kingdom of God is within you, so it's within, the kingdom of God is within our body, right? It also talks about, um, you know, the temple of the Lord. Um, body is the temple. Right, this is 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Yeah, the body of Jake, Israel. Right, it's starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. The remnant who's going to be saved. Right, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not of your own. So this, the point is, they want to change your ownership. Right? But we're not of our own, we're we owned by who? Yabashim, Yahushai. But the point is, these devils basically, through giving us that digital all, right, and the other, other so-called enhancements, technological enhancements, want to make us his own, right? his slave, his servant. Because we are the slaves, we are the servants, and, and the slaves are Yabashim, Yahushai. Alright, so let's go back here. Right, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he as God is in the sits, sits, sits in the temple of God, which is what the body, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was with you, yet with you I told you these things? Right, so this is prophecy. And now you know um, what withhold that, that he might be revealed in his time. And he is revealed. Right, he revealed right here by his own mouth. Right, you know, the scripture said, you know, basically that they that they ate it. <laughs> All praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is Psalms sixty-four and verse eight. It says, "So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away." So what he's doing here, he's making himself known that he's that they are the son of perdition. They are the men of sin. All right. This is where he's making it known to fulfill what prophecy. Because the Lord's word will not go out void. Every single part of it will be fulfilled. Alright? Verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity that already work here, yeah, this devil. Alright? The mystery of iniquity it is, is working right now. You've seen it. Alright? Only he will now let it will let, which is the heavenly father and his son, Yahweh Shai, until he, be, until he be taken out of the way, until who he saw Edom be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, right? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, right? The prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonder. And the Lord give them power and lying and signs, which is what he was speaking about it a while ago. He's talking about the cyborgs. Um, he's talking about his, his AI, all right? All these things that power and the signs and lying wonders of the devil, Satan. Right, which which he was given that knowledge, right? He was illuminated on the left hand side. Right? And this is where it is. Now when you go back to Isaiah 14, right? You know, you know, Lucifer, you know, let me read over Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which should has weakened the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, America, Babylon the Great. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So this devil, hey, he, he real proud. All right? Just like how you saw um, Harari said. All right? Yet thou shalt be brought down to, the hell, to hell 
which is a low estate. You're going to be on a low condition. In fact, they're going to be slaves in the kingdom. So the sides of the pit, they that, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee. All these other nations that you took craft the council with, that you confederate against us with, they're going to look on you narrowly and say, and consider you saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble and to shake kingdoms? Yeah, it's all his technology. All right? That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof. Yeah, I talk about uh, um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All right? That opened up the house of his prisoners. All right? So, hey, they, 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 they finished. Okay? They finished. You know, and, you know, and, and as the scripture said, really and truly, you know, hey, these devils so so sick, you know, if it, if it wasn't for the elect's sake, you know, no flesh gonna be, would, be, would be saved when we left back. Because all flesh would, have corrupt, would be corrupted. Matthew 24 and 22, it says what? And except those days be shortened, <coughs> it's like, yeah, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So, if, hey, you can see clearly here, if they, these, if they don't shorten these days, this devil is going to destroy the whole earth. Gonna, you know, and it, as if, if that was possible... But he's basically gonna gonna kill out kill um you know you know Jake all Jakes and that's really what's his aim in the first place anyway. Alright? But this devil his mind is corrupted. Alright? And you know what? The Lord made him just like that. Okay? It says Romans one <clears throat> and verse twenty. Right, it reads Um for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. You know, and that's another thing too, because the things that you don't see are greater than the things you see. But this devil is so carnal, he can't appreciate those things. Because he's a carnal man. Alright, he's a materialistic man. Alright. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. But understood by, by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. So that they are without excuse. And then he saw is without excuse. Alright. Because that when they knew God... They glorified him not as God, right? They're saying they're superior to God. Neither were thankful, right? Because what he saw Edom is a creation of the Mosai of Yahashim Yahashai. Yeah, he was created by the Lord. But he ain't thankful. But became vain in their imaginations, right? So it's not vain in his imagination. So he can surpass the Lord. And their foolish heart, which is a mind, was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. As the scripture said, the fool have said in his heart, there's no God. Right? And change the glory of the corruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. And many of our people, you know, Jake, they, they, they serve this man. They worship this man. They bow down to his image. Alright? It is his peace system. Alright? Follow his ways and his doctrines. Right? And to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Right? Wherefore the Heavenly Father gave them up to uncleanness through the loss of their own heart, loss of their own minds. To this honor their own bodies between themselves. We're just talking about uh, being rainbow. But beyond that, it's also talking about the, the trans to the to the humanism agenda. Alright? Okay? That's what they're talking about. You know? Who changed the truth of, of God into a lie? Right? Which is what that, that you know, organic creature is inferior. You know, it's not good. Right? Which all this technology is going to be done away anyway because the Lord is going to tell them to turn their, 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 their spears and the and stuff into pruning hooks, into farming equipment. So what means what? They're going to be working back on the land right? with the animals. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever? Our man. All right? So that's what this devil did. Okay? But then he's always been, he's always been going against the green of the Lord. All right? And trying to pull Jake along with him to the destruction. Isaiah 29, verse 14. Therefore, behold, I will do proceed to do a marvelous work among his people, which is what waking us up to this truth. Even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. Right? So they, 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 these, um, these Edomites, too, you know, their wisdom perishing. And understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Yeah, clearly, they, they're deceived to believe that they could outdo the Heavenly Father and His Son. It reads, verse 15, Woe unto them, them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Surely, your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, right? So, for, for organic beings, they want to have only inorganic. 
which is really death. But those things not alive, right? Our robots not alive, okay? You know, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he hath no understanding? Yeah, you proud and pompous, he, you know? And you just clay. You know, as the Lord said, he made out of, out of one lump, you know, he made, he made two different vessels. Right, one vessel to honor and one another for dishonor. Alright, when you go into let me get um let's get Romans Romans chapter 9 from verse 13 it says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is the unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Right, the Lord, 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 um, he's, he, he's sovereign. He can do that. All right. So then it is not of him that will it, right, nor of him that run it, but of the heavenly Father that showeth mercy. So matter what they do, it's the Lord in the end who's going to show the mercy to whoever he wants to do it. And he wants to do it for Jake. All right. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. And there's the purpose that the Lord raised them up to. They are the modern day Pharaohs, modern day Egypt. Is Babylon the great which is America? Alright, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee. So the Lord showed his power in them. Alright, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Yeah, Yabashim Yosha is gonna what? Use them to magnify his name once again. Alright, same way he magnified his name by destroying Pharaoh and his whole army in, in the in the sea, by drowning them in the sea. Right? Raising them up to a high level, making them proud, hardening the heart. Which is what he's doing to this, this devil who spoke there. And then destroying them. Okay? You know, all praises to Abashim Yahushai. Verse 18. Alright, it reads. Um, Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy. And whom he will, and whom he will, he hard net. Right? He, same thing I was saying. Hard net is the heart. Thou will say then unto me. When that goes back to Job the 33rd chapter. When the Lord programs your mind in his deep sleep too. Alright? You know? Thou wilt say unto me, Why doth he find yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Yet they, they can't resist the will of the Lord. Nay, but O man, who art thou that thou repliest against the heavenly Father? Right? And this is what he do, replying against the Lord. Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Alright? He can't do that. Hath not the potter power over the clay? Right? Goes back to um same scripture we want just now, Isaiah 29. Had not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? And this is what the Lord did. The Lord made Jacob unto honor and Esau unto dishonor. So Esau is the so-called white man. Right? Verse 22. What if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? The Lord enjoying them right now. Because really and truly, Yabashim Yosha is a righteous power. He want to take them out. But he get them a certain time, right? and he's gonna let them run the course, which is very, which is very um, soon coming to an end, okay? Very soon, very very soon actually, right? Let me go Ephesians two, verse two. It says, and this is something for for Jake too, right? Where in in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, which is according to um, the devil, right? It's according to his children, is his physical manifestation on the earth, which is Esau, Edom, all right, his physical counterpart, right, the spirit that now work in the children of disobedience, right, Esau is the children of disobedience, right, and also our people, the two-thirds who follow after them, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath even as others, so, so some that you know you, you know for the elect you know things we had uh, that we had um resist you know and that's that's really going back into the what the hour of temptation has come in right where the flesh is going to be one of the main you know drawbacks one of the main sources of temptation which is always is right you know for for to, for, for 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 jake to take that m to the o and the tb okay so um ephesians chapter 5 Verse 5, it says, For you know this, for you for this you know that no whoremonger 
nor unclean person nor covetous man who is an idolater have any inheritance in the kingdom of Hamashiach and of the power. Right? You know, and you know Esau, he, he, he's an unclean person. Just by what he's saying there, he's unclean. Right? We're trying to merge man with machine. Alright? Okay? Verse 6 says, Let no man deceive you with vain words. Okay? So this is, this is for Jake. Don't, you know, don't let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things come at the wrath of Heavenly Father upon the children of disobedience. Because of all the things that he was talking about there. Right? The AI, right? The C to the H, the I to the P, right? Merging man with machine, okay? This is why the wrath of the Lord going to come down upon them. Because basically, when you take that M to the O to the T and the B, what are you going to do? You're going you're gonna to become an, what, a cyborg. That's what you just need to take that and you become a cyborg, all right? Okay, but, but not, verse 7 says, be not ye, the, ye therefore partakers with them. Don't be partakers with them, all right? For ye were sometimes ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light of the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is, is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Right? And what he's talking is lies. Verse 10. Proving that proving what is acceptable unto your hour, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. So what they're talking about? The advancements. What they believe is, is becoming God Godhood, of being our God, right? Is what? It's um it's a it's an unfruitful work of darkness, right? Because righteousness is a immortality, and that that what he described in there that that guy from the World Economic Forum (EWF) that's speaking about the unfruitful works of darkness, which gonna lead on to what onto death, right? But rather reprove them, yes, yeah, so, okay, to hell with them, to hell with them, right? Verse twelve, for it is a shame even to speak of those things. Which are done of them in secret, because we know, hey, we don't know Esau Edom is the most depraved, wicked basis of men. Alright? You know everything wicked and be based, that's what he about. Okay? And this is why, you know, Yabashim Yosha is not gonna allow them to win. They're not gonna allow them to, to they're gonna think that they're gonna win, but the Lord is gonna take them out. So it's Job 5 and 12, and I'll, I'll wrap it up here. I'll be the next two scriptures, Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform the enterprise, right? So you're going to disappoint them. He take out the wise in their own craftiness, right? So their own craftiness, what they plan, going to fall on them. And, t and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong. All those who, 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 who feel like they, they, they're clever and have the cunning schemes, you saw Edom, hey, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna lose, okay? Verse 14, they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. But he saved the poor from the sword from their mouth, so Lord willing, you know, we pray to be saved from the judgment, you know, from the sword which is sharpening right now, right? Because a lot of people are not going to just accept this, it's going to have sedition, right? And from the hand of the mighty, so the poor had hope and iniquity stop at her mouth. So this is what the Lord is going to do, He's going to stop their mouth, man, all right? Job 20 and 23, I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up here, all right? <clears throat> yeah, Job 20 and 22 in the fullness of his sufficiency which is now he think that he on top he saw Edom that is he shall be in straits right he shall be in a position of difficulty every hand of the wicked shall come upon him when he's about to fill his belly and, and every hand of the wicked will be a lot of his, his own people his own NATO members and European Union members going to turn back on who Babylon the Great alright you know Obadiah, the first chapter goes into that, right? When he's about to fill his belly, the heavenly Father shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating, right? While he thinking that he gonna get through, you know, while he figure he reaping his rewards, and you know, and, and Jake, 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 um, being destroyed by his devices, right? He shall flee from the iron weapon, which is what the same creation of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that we went through earlier, in Isaiah the fifty-four chapter and the sixteen verse. The ICBM nuclear missiles, right? He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. All right? It is drawn and cometh out of his body, yeah, out of the silo. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. So, hey, hey the man of sin, right, he's revealed, right? He's revealed by his own mouth. You know, and now you know, hey, if, if it wasn't clear, you know, crystal clear before, now it's crystal clear who, he, who the man of sin is. Alright, alright. But he ain't gonna win. You know, 
you're going to lose, you're going to be destroyed. So with that, you know, I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Destruction unto Babylon, a bad babal. Until the next time, Shalom.